Hello Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I am providing insight and guidance for you guys for the month of July 2019 and today is actually the full moon in Sagittarius so I figured why not do a reading on this day. Let's see what the energies are going to be bringing. So uh, yeah, so let's jump on in. So of course uh, this is going to apply to your sun moon arising. Um, if this Sagittarius reading does not apply you may want to look into your birth chart and see what other zodiac influences you have and then go check out those readings to see how it can better resonate but overall I hope to give you guys some insight and and I hope this reading um, gives you gives you a peace of mind as well so let's get started so we have here the tower card starting now so Sagittarius you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio or you could have this in your chart okay so I feel like there's great change that's going to be taking place in the month of July sudden change um, this change could have something to do with a Leo as well so um, the foundation that you have with this Leo could be shaking a bit okay if it's not a Leo it could be like I said an Aries or Scorpio person okay so um, uh, for some of you, it's like the foundation has crumbled. Maybe it was a foundation that was built on lies and um, deceit or whatever the case may be. It's now falling, and so therefore you are now recovering. You're in a recovery phase. Um, you're, it's, it's encouraged for you to maintain your strength, of course. So if you've gone through a divorce or gone through a very difficult situation um, in regards to your relationship or a connection or just life situations, it's a call for you to stand strong and um, try, try your best to uh, tap into your inner strength, okay? Because you definitely are protected because we have the world card here, okay? You're definitely protected by the universe here. Um, I'm also seeing here that there's some changes that definitely need to be made and the changes won't take place until you um, tap into your inner strength. Um, have the bravery to uh, face your inner lion, your inner demons. Okay, and I know this um, strength card, this lion, I mean, it's a lion, but it could represent also your inner demon, your 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 inner beast. Okay, so it's like looking looking your shadow side in, in the face. Okay, it's like it also talks about taming yourself. So if you tend to kind of fly off the handle and you kind of have this Mars energy, it's a call for you to maybe change the way that you are responding. Try not to come off as too harsh or too heavy. Um, for some of you, you could have a Mars and Leo energy as well. Okay. Um, but just know, um, you know, try to tap into all the elements as well so you can have that inner, inner harmony. So if you have too much fire or, you know, whatever the case may be, baby, you, it's going to be a call for you to balance that out, tap into the other elements to help bring a sense of serenity and inner balance, okay? Um, but I definitely see that the foundation is going to be um, shooken, okay? There's change coming or change taking place. Um, I also see here, uh, for some of you, you could uh, be dealing with an earth sign person, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could have that in your chart, Sagittarius. Um, so it's in regards to the family, I see that um, maybe there has been some change in the family dynamics. Someone is leaving the family or um, there's change, like I said, change in the family dynamic. Um, maybe for some of you Sagittarius, you're leaving one household to go to another household or in regards to business, you're, you're um, venturing out. Um, traveling or the person that you're dealing with is traveling for business so this is creating a, a sense of tower it's like um, shaking of the foundation this 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 change okay um, I'm also seeing that you could be dealing with an um, water sign person this is a cancer Pisces or Scorpio or you could have this in your chart as well so it, it, there's an energy of um, or a desire of wanting to leave um, a foundation, a foundation of work, like a family unit or a work unit. So for some of you uh, Sagittarius, I want to say Scorpio. <laughs> so some of you Sagittarius, uh, you could be walking away from, um, um, you know, a, a, a family, you know, a family unit or um, a job. You know, working away, walking away from a job, okay? Um, walking away from traditions, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles talks about traditions, so it's walking away from that. Traditions, doing things your way, you know? Um, 
I'm also seeing here because it's at the heart of the matter the eight of cups here so it's gonna be a call for you Sagittarius to really find out what it is that you're looking for for some of you you come off as feeling as though you're you're never satisfied okay uh, for some of you it feels like you don't have the strength to move on you know you need something better but you don't have the strength to move on so that's why that tower card is here to remind you it's time to make some changes and Mars is all about action it's control it's very fiery energy so it's going to be a call for you to tap into that energy you know especially if you have a Mars and a water sign you know it may be hard for, for you guys to be like action oriented you know that's for some of you but it's just really a call to really um find out what what it is that you want because after the eight of cups comes the nine of cups and it's like the dream coming true it's wish fulfillment so it's really going to be a call for you to tap into that inner strength and take the initiative to bring about the change that you want especially if what you are wanting is you know stability you know and the stability can come in the form of financial stability or emotional stability something that's solid okay that's that's something that you're craving okay for some of you Sagittarius you don't want to do the work to 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 um, obtain this that's for some of you and so therefore you're you're like walking towards the ten of swords energy which leads you to have uh, mental instability and not saying that there's mental issues but it's like you, your thoughts become your own worst enemy because you're not really um, for some of you it's like you're not taking the initiative to um, bring about the change that you want in your life so therefore it's like there's a self-sabotaging energy your thoughts tend to limit you your thoughts tend to block you because this eight of cups here is walking towards a ten of ten of swords this also could represent an ending of a difficult situation so you could be wanting to get out of a situation that's no longer fulfilling you a situation that has emotionally suppressed you and caused you to feel unhappy uncertain so you're wanting to put an end to this you're wanting to 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 find something more okay so for some of you you definitely could be um walking not walking towards an ending but putting an end to it okay putting an end to um the procrastination okay um but really i see there's a need for you guys to um try not to self-sabotage for some of you try not to self-sabotage you know because your thoughts are really your reality okay it's like you could have this ten of pentacles but it's like your thoughts are getting in the way of it, okay? And you could already have this Ten of Pentacles, but like I said, the emotions and the thoughts are causing um, causing blocks, okay? Um, for some of you, I see that despite everything being on fire or things kind of going crazy or hectic and despite the changes, you guys are going to keep it moving because we have this um, Knight of wands here now let me just go back here um with this card here this word ca world card i see that mentally despite what has gone on around you despite the ups and downs you guys are still going to hold your ground you guys are still going to hold your center okay and i see this as a protective shield so despite what's going on around you the chaos the changes you guys are going to have like a protective shield around you if you guys don't feel that way it's a call for you to establish a, a, a protective shield around you so you're not being influenced by the other other elements and other people's energies okay um, that's going to give you a mental peace of mind okay or I not mental peace of mind a peace of mind period okay it's going to give you a peace of mind um, but as far as your emotions I feel like you guys are you know despite what you've gone through you're going to be really pushing forward okay you're going to be really pushing forward you're going to still be um keeping things moving because we have this knight of wands in energy and that's my sagittarius card so you know the emotions for some of you is going to be up and down it's going to just kind of be, be rapid and for others it's just you're going to be moving forward despite whatever is going on uh, you're just going to be moving forward okay um this ten of swords i don't know if i told you but uh it could be an air sign person gemini aquarius or libra if i didn't say that okay and um, i also see here um that you guys are carrying a lot of weight on you spiritual weight um and what that means um for some of you it could be actual physical weight 
okay so for some of you it's, it's a call for you to uh, take the necessary ch steps and face your demons if your demon is overindulging in foods or un unhealthy uh, activities it's a call for you to take the necessary steps to bring about the change so you can release these t this ten of wands energy here okay because it's very burdensome it's very heavy um, also um, it represents um, just a lot of just a lot of heavy energy okay that you're carrying around with you Sagittarius so it's a call for you to really address that energy um, if it's other people's energies that you're carrying and all of their mess and all of their burden it's a call for you to free yourself tap into that Knight of Wands energy and actually just head the other direction don't allow this person or situation to overburden you okay because it's really important um, but I see three number tens here so there's definitely going to be an ending so if you've had a lot of burden in regards to you know um, your life situation or, or your relationship there definitely is going to be an ending and there will be clarity so it could be an ending of the relationship with this person and and um, then receiving some clarity okay so it could work out that way um, and in, in end of a relationship or ending of a situation okay so I definitely see an ending taking place completion taking place um, and then there will be definitely be clarity. So as far as your spirit, your spirit is definitely going to be just strong. Okay, because you have the ace of swords here and that's the sense of clarity. That's having clarity. That's having understanding. That's seeing the truth of a situation, uh, Sagittarius. And I definitely feel like um, some of you are going to be coming to uh, a conclusion or coming to the awareness of how your life has been going okay you're going to start seeing things much more clearly okay you're going to choose to look at your current situation or your situation in regards to your relationship you're going to just be looking at things very clearly okay um and it's just a reminder as well so if you do have confusion you know in the month of july it's just a call for you to um for one just take some time out and try not try your best not to rack rack your brain so much. Try your best not to rack your your brain way too much. And if there's other people's energies that you're picking up, their influences, uh, release all of that. Okay, release all of that because this can actually be other people's shit. Okay, that's keeping you down. It could be they they're telling you, oh, you're no good or you're never amount to nothing. It could be their um, insults to you. Okay, so choose to rise above that. Okay know the truth know your truth okay you are not what other people say about you okay you you are what you say about yourself okay it only matters what you say about yourself not what other people say that's better okay um what else am i seeing here um but overall there's definitely change going to be taking place it's going to be a call for you to really um stay strong for the month of July and not be afraid to walk away from something that is no longer serving you emotionally because we have the eight of cups here at the heart of the reading so it's the emotions whatever's not satisfying you emotionally um, it's a call for, for you to walk away from that and also look at the bigger picture too with this um, ace of swords you know if you're in a relationship with someone and they're not feeling happy you know, they could, they could desire to leave the situation because it's no longer fulfilling to, to them. So you have to really look at the situation. Don't be afraid to uh, make necessary changes, to shake up the foundation, okay? So you can have the world and the harmony that you are wanting, okay? So you can have the traditions and you can have the stability, okay? Really take a look at what needs to change in your life so you can have that sense of clarity and you can have that, that um, free-flowing uh, movement you know that energy okay so something definitely needs to change with the foundation you know what that is okay so I'm going to pull a card here let's take a look actually no I'm not gonna pull that card yet let's see I'm gonna pull three cards and just see um, okay moving forward what does Sagittarius need to do moving forward okay what does Sagittarius well not what you guys need to do but um, going forward, what do you need to be aware of, okay? Going forward, what does Sagittarius need to be aware of going forward in the month of July 2019, okay? Ooh, ooh, okay, so wonderful. Okay, so we have the 
um, page of wands here page of wands it talks about messages coming through it's um, inspiration it's not fearing the unknown okay um, and this is like a spirit okay so for Sagittarius um, it's really important and this could just represent you because it's a fire sign and you could be dealing with another fire sign person uh, Leo Sagittarius or Aries so don't be afraid Sagittarius of a new beginning try your best not to um, be afraid of the unknown because I see rabbits here and it's definitely going to be a fertile time for you uh, Sagittarius and I see fire so um, move towards whatever gives you passion okay um, if you are afraid to like move forward because you don't know what's ahead of you try your best not to um, get in that vibration of fear and that's kind of in a way self-sabotaging be open to new experiences because it's definitely going to be a fertile time for you um, So, I mean, this is really a good card. Also, it can be in regards to a younger person. There could be some concerns in regards to, you know, a child as well. Okay. Um, for some of you, it could be that your child is um, very fertile or, or is pregnant. Okay. That's for some of you. Not all, not all of you. Okay. Because I see rabbits and rabbits are very fertile to me, okay? But don't don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid to move forward, okay? Um, like I said, the, the wands represent the spirit for me. So um, don't be afraid to explore the, the spiritual side of you as well, okay? Don't be afraid to explore that side. Okay, the next card is going to be the seven of coins here. Okay, so you could be dealing with a earth sign person. You could have earth in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So um, it's going to call for you to really be patient as well. You guys could have like a little little white dog too. <laughs> it's a cute little dog. Um, so it's going to be a call for you guys to really be patient with yourself. You know, you are on a journey. You know, we do go through ups and downs. We experience several different things, you know, in this lifetime. But it's really important for you to have patience, okay? And just understand as long as you continue to move forward, as long as you continue to make the effort, you're going to see the results. If you're not really making an effort and you're just used to doing things the same old way, um, you, you're going to feel as though you're unsatisfied. I mean, he has a tree full of pentacles, but he does not seem happy. It's like he doesn't have any passion. So as long as you put the effort in and you your intentions are in it, you can trust and believe that you will see um, uh, some results. And we both have, we have seven here. So we have the tower card and the number seven. So, you know, seven can definitely be... Um, in regards to a relationship, okay, because the seventh house, I don't want to go too deep into that, but, you know, it definitely has something to do with relationships, so um, there's some changes that need to be made, and also there's some patience that needs to be gained as well during this process, because things are not going to change overnight, okay, but it's about taking the initiative, okay. Okay, last card is Six of Wands, so it's going to be victory. So this is my Jupiter and Leo card. Ooh, yes. So it's about um, taking the high road. Um, you also could be dealing with another fire sign person. Like I said this before, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or this could represent you. So just know that once you take the necessary steps and take the, take the necessary actions that you need to, um, you will definitely be victorious, okay? So don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of uh, changing things around in your foundation, okay? Because if we are used to the same old things, you know, and doing things the same old way and expecting different results, we're, we're just fooling ourselves. So um, it's really a call for you to just put the work in and just trust and believe that you will be victorious, okay? You will definitely be victorious. Um, is there anything else I'm getting from this? Okay. Also, if you're used to just kind of, <laughs> uh, for some of you Sagittarius, it might be an ego thing. You know, you could have a very big ego. The person you're dealing with has a very big ego. It's just a call for you just to have patience and just rise above. Don't get caught up in the petty drama and the going back and forth and all that stuff. 
don't get involved in that just rise above and continue to move, uh, move forward if you're wanting someone to change the best way to change someone is by you know being an example so for instance that could represent if you are with somebody that has been you know not so faithful to you or you haven't uh, been faithful maybe the person might end up leaving you so they're t leading by example they're showing you hey I'm not going to settle for um, what you're doing to me or vice versa you can end up leaving the person and being an example and showing them hey I'm not going to settle for this you know things like that it doesn't have to be that extreme you know it could be very simple but it's just really leading by example okay and being a good role model okay Okay, so let's see here. So we have flexibility. Ooh, so Sagittarius, you could be dealing with the water sign person. You could have water in your chart. So it says flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, not break you. Okay, so despite what you're going through in your life, the changes that take place, life is not going to break you. It just has a ten tendency to bend you. So it's a call for you to be flexible try your best not to be so resistant you know sometimes we can't help how things happen and the changes but we just have to be receptive to it and adapt you know and adapting and flexibility goes hand in hand okay so gently flow through the turbulence all right so that's going to conclude the reading oh hold on no it's not the bottom of the deck we have the ace of coins here okay so ace of pentacles so there's definitely going to be opportunity for you guys Sagittarius and um, it could be financial opportunity or just opportunity for great change okay an opportunity to sow a seed for change okay and on the bottom of this deck we have the moon card so you could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer you could have it in your chart as well so it's really exploring the subconscious mind finding out subconsciously how you um maybe have been self-sabotaging yourself or you know, taking a look at subconscious patterns or behaviors okay so really take a look at that because um, clarity definitely wants to come through for you guys for the month of July okay so that's going to conclude the reading for Sagittarius I uh, hope you guys liked it um, I'm very interested to get some feedback from you guys so feel free to leave a comment below uh, like share and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month God bless.